The slab of Vecna has been officially acknowledged as not working as intended and is set to be repaired very soon. However, there's something else that has been broken for much longer than Vecna and its fix remains unconfirmed. The Mirage Weapons. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, hit that subscribe button and join the coolest window lickers in Neverwinter. For the veterans, you know the drill, smash that like button like it owes you money. And of course, become a member if you feel like supporting. And a huge shout out to my not so many, but very dedicated channel members. Thank you for your unrelenting support. You're all real ones. Before we dive in, I've noticed some comments floating around labeling me as a hater. So let's set the record straight. I embrace it. That fucking was up. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. Yes, my videos highlight the game's issues rather than serving up the typical guides, patch notes, or testing content like other Neverwinter content creators. Why? Because unapologetically, I hate broken code, bugs, glitches, overpowered gear, recycled zones, copy-paste items, lack of vision, sluggish issue resolution, cash grabs, and the enduring headache of legacy characters. My critique comes from a place of love for the game that we all cherish. If calling out the aspects that ruin the game makes me a hater, then so be it. I'll wear the title proudly, because honestly, what's the point of only praising the few good things about Neverwinter? What does that even accomplish? I've already praised their combat system multiple times, and I'm currently showcasing the beauty of their zones in my virtual cinematic videos. And a small hint, there are about 50 more left in the pipeline, so you know, you may want to watch them, pretty cool. So what more do you want me to do? Oh right, because some folks think that addressing problems and talking truthfully about them scares all the new players away. While it's not my job to be on the Cryptic's marketing team, especially when I'm not even getting paid for it, there are plenty of content creators like Aragon or Gus who spread positivity and praise for Cryptic. Like there's never a moment where you said something and we was like, oh, bars. <laughs> And that's their thing. But as for me, regardless of whether people like it or not, I'll always shed light on problems, voice my opinions, and offer constructive criticism when I can. I mean, I'm galactic. Have we met? I'll always stay true to myself, and I'll always call out dumb shit when it's deserved. Nice to meet you. Now let's get back to the main topic at hand, and some more hating. So if you fuckers thought the slab of Vecna mount was bad, <laughs> yeah, meet the Mirage weapons. For those not in the know, these weapons made their debut in Module 11 and the Cloaked Ascendancy campaign. Yes, way back in 2017, a whopping 6 years and 17 modules ago. Can you believe that shit? 17 modules ago. Wrap your head around that shit. How can a relic from the past still be overpowered after all this time? Well, blame it on cryptic speciality. Spaghetti code. Their coding evolves over time, and I'm not even joking. I've witnessed bugs aging like fine wine, and getting worse as time marches on. Add a sprinkle of incompetence in fixing broken things and voila, mirage weapons become the poster child. Even the most diehard defenders of Neverwinter can't argue that Cryptic has a habit of doing this. There's a huge laundry list of broken things over the years, and the mirage weapons are just the tip of the iceberg. We have the Band of Air, Sandy Pants, Lost Mouth Set, the Abyssal Chicken, Zuna, and many more that I'm too lazy to mention. It's practically become a Cryptic tradition to unleash one or two ridiculously overpowered or broken items every few modules, and some take even years to fix, if they ever do. Now here's a more detailed breakdown of the problem that I found in the Protector's Enclave Discord posted by various testers who are well versed in the Mirage weapons. Apparently the issue lies in the Mirage clone's damage calculation, which involves a special NPC multiplier. Specifically, they receive a times 3 multiplier for any queued content, and an even more substantial times 6 multiplier for Master Temple of the Spider, Master Xemnas, Master Demon Red Pits, and Master Defense of the Moon Dancer. A question that some people will no doubt be asking is why in the Holy Hockey Sticks should the multiplier be different for the most recent trials than it is for other content. Now what makes this problematic is that these times 6 multipliers propel the Mirage weapon set to unparalleled superiority. For many classes it results in a significant 5-20% to damage increase compared to the second best weapon set in the game. So clearly for most if not all classes, the Mirage weapons reign supreme in Master content standing as the undisputed champions. What's truly baffling here is that these Mirage weapons are pushing 7 years old. Despite having a significantly lower item level compared to the weapons introduced in recent times, they're outshining every other weapon currently in the game. This is a considerable blow to the Cryptic developers because despite their efforts to create new weapon sets with each module, none seem to measure up to the Mirage standard. It begs the question, why bother creating new sets if they're consistently overshadowed by Mirage? Adding to the puzzle is the prolonged time it's taking for the devs to address this issue. While it might be a head scratcher for many, I'm not surprised. 
because in the cryptic realm, priorities lean heavily towards churning out new modules. Anything outside the module creation realm gets attention whenever there's time for it, considering the fallout from the Enforcer Group fiasco leading to a smaller dev team, addressing these issues can take even longer. And there's no conceivable universe where Mirage weapons should still be reigning as best in slot. So, just as they're taking steps with Vecna, the Mirage weapons also need a serious tune down to rein in their currently insane damage output. Imagine the havoc when combined with Vecna, absolutely bonkers. Throw more players into the equation using both items, and things can quickly spiral out of control damage wise. Beyond the urgent need for a fix due to the damage output, these Mirage weapons are like the guests who have overstayed their welcome. It's high time they make way for newer weapons to shine in the spotlight. Even when Vecna and Mirage are eventually balanced as they should be, I'm sure we'll witness the cycles repeat with future weapons, rings, gear, mounts, and companions becoming just as broken. Because as we mentioned earlier in the video, it's practically their tradition. There's no escaping destiny. Anyways, we'll see if and when it ever gets fixed. As for now, there are no plans for it. None that I'm aware of anyways. So time will tell. And that's all for now. Make sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Whether you agree or not, just be respectful. Don't be dicks. And if anyone's going to be a dick, it's going to be me because I'm allowed to and you're not. Anyways, see you soon. Peace.